Here, let us factorize using the identity x minus y the whole cube equals x cube minus y cube minus 3x square y plus 3xy square. Let us consider 8a cube minus b cube minus 12a square b plus 6ab square. So here 8a cube is x cube and b cube is y cube. So just like how x cube is x and y cube is just y, we need to find what is 8a cube. 8a cube is nothing but 2a the whole cube and b cube is nothing but it's b the whole cube it's just for the sake of it now because since b does not have any coefficient it's okay to just write it as b cube now let us consider 12 a square b which corresponds to this term so here we have 3 is constant and y straight away corresponds to b or b straight away corresponds to y so therefore we can straight away write a b here so what are we going to write in the middle of 3 and b so that we get 12a square b it seems very simple we just have to write 4a square but we have to write it in the form of x square so we can write 2a the whole square and similarly we have to write 3xy square as 3 into x is 2a and y is b therefore we write it as b square so now we can write this as 2a the whole cube plus minus b the whole cube plus 3 into 2a the whole square into minus b plus 3 into 2a into minus b the whole square now this is exactly of the form x cube minus y cube why am i saying minus y cube okay let me just write it for you it is 2a the whole cube we can write this as minus b cube because anyways minus b the whole cube is minus b cube so we can take the minus sign outside and here minus this minus into this plus is minus so we can write this as minus 3 into 2a square into b and again here it is going to be plus because minus square is plus therefore we can write this as 3 into 2a into b square so this is exactly in the form of x cube minus y cube minus 3x square y plus 3xy square so therefore this can be factorized as 2a minus b the whole cube so therefore 2a minus b the whole cube is the factorized form of 8a cube minus b cube minus 12a square b plus 6ab square.